Hey guys, as I've done my shopping trips at the Dollar Tree, I've noticed more spring and Easter stuff starting to pop up. So let's get started with some spring and Easter crafts. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Don't forget, I try and link everything I use in the description box below. If I can't link exactly what I use, I'll link something as close as I can get. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, what you'll be needing for today's project is some painter's tape, a little printable, or you can dry your own, a mason jar, and a little egg. This came in a 12 pack from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna pull the ribbon out to use it. Otherwise, they have some that come as picks, and they have bigger ones and smaller ones, so it's gonna depend what you like best and how you're gonna do it. I liked the little one best, so I went ahead and did that. Um, yep, and then you'll need a pen and some scissors. Oh, and paint, of course, but I haven't decided on the color yet, so I don't have that in my, my little situation. All right, guys, so I wanted to do this two ways, with a bunny and a chick, but I'm not having success finding the completing pieces for the bunny. So we're going to go ahead and do the chick for today. What I did is I just found an outline of a bunny and a chick. I went online and I printed them off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out, and I'm just going to trace around it on this... It's frog tape, it's like painter's tape. And that's how we're gonna start this project. This is completely a me thing. I've drawn on this stuff before and it likes to slip and slide, so I just wanna be extra careful. And I'm gonna have to put two pieces next to each other. I decided I wanted the wing to show on my chick, so I took my X-Acto knife and I cut on either side of the printed outline. Once I was done cutting out the wing, I took my scissors and I started cutting the rest of the outline of the chick. And man was it hard! I wish I would have just laid it down on a cutting board and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Or waited to cut out the outline of the wing until after I had cut out the chick itself. Next, you're just going to put the chick on where you want it. Make sure your glass is clean. My jar is a mason jar from the Dollar Tree, so you can see the seams on the sides. I'm sure you can see it with other ones too, but I just wanted to point that out so you don't place your chick right on it. And then stick it. You want to make sure you're pressing all your edges down really good. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the entire jar. I'm going to use this Craftsmart color. It's an acrylic paint in the color bright yellow. And I'm going to mix a little of my Waverly chalk paint in white with it because I want it to be a little bit more pastel and I want it to have that like chalk paint look. Try and get as even strokes as you can going from all the way up at the top all the way down to the bottom and that's really going to help the appearance look more even. When everything had dried, I just took my X-Acto knife and I cut in the tape. Then I slowly started peeling everything away. Chances are at least a little bit is going to get under your painter's tape. So I just took my X-Acto knife and lightly scraped any of the paint that had gotten underneath the tape. That way it came off and I still had my perfect outline. The next part of this project was just me taking a little E6000 and I glued the inside of that mason jar lid to the outside. I glued it right on top of that part that screws on, then let it sit to dry. So for the lid, I took one of the little styrofoam eggs that comes in the pack of 12. I had one left over from the wreath that I did, I'll link that if you haven't seen it. And I just pressed it on the table so that it would give it a flat spot. And I'm gonna end up hot gluing it right on top here. I know that it's not gonna be something I can lift it off with, but just having a cute little accent, I think will be really adorable with the chick. I chose the egg because I did the chick, but I honestly wanted to do a bunny and the twine carrot at the top, but my Dollar Tree just was not getting those twine carrots in. Because of the offset that I'm doing and the diagonal angle that I'm doing the egg, I want to do it in the middle. So I'm gonna put the hot glue right onto the middle here. You do have to be a little careful because the hot glue will melt your styrofoam a bit. I'm going to hold it so I can make sure it cures and then we'll put it all together. 
And here's a look at the final project. I love how this turned out. I think it's super adorable. It would be a great little Easter gift if you're giving some little gifts away. If you filled it up with like candies, colorful candies, I think that'd be really cool. I just filled mine up with colorful beads that my girls will use. And you can always put a layer of Mod Podge over the paint if you're nervous about the paint chipping or anything like that. So many different options. I'm in love with this. I think it's super adorable. I want to make several more and I do want to try the bunny still if I can ever find those twine carrots. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of this little guy and will you try it? Thanks for crafting with me. I can't wait to do another craft next week but until then bye bye.